Welcome to My Backyard Friends. As you can probably tell from the title, this is going to be a new series about making a new squirrel house. The story starts with me making some squirrel houses with some friends. First one was kind of small, as you can see on the right, and then eventually on the left made an even bigger squirrel house that even had like a deck out on the front. Before we even knew it, we had squirrels in them and using them on a yearly basis. Luckily, the tree that they're attached to is just outside a window that we use frequently, so we were able to watch and keep track of everything that they were doing for the most part. As you'd imagine, over the years, they took a beating and really wore, and now we only have one up, and it looks like this. So you guessed it, we're going to make a new one. So when brainstorming and thinking of what I wanted to add or what I, what could make the squirrel house better, the worst part about it is you could never see inside. You could always see them playing and doing everything on the outside, but I always thought it'd be really cool to see what was going on on the inside. So I started looking over the internet to see if there was any kind of cameras or things like that, and I came across a website called Green Feathers. Green Feathers is based out of the UK and is a company that specializes in putting little cameras in bird boxes actually to watch the nesting process and all that. So after reading some reviews and checking out some things, I saw that it actually has a camera that runs on just Wi-Fi, which is perfect for us because I didn't want to worry about having all kinds of cords and how we'd keep the squirrels from chewing on those because they're, well, they're crazy. So in short, the camera works off of Wi-Fi and the only cord that it needs is a power supply. And then it has a micro SD card that actually plugs into the camera before you put it up in it. The SD card allows the camera to store um, pictures and videos that it takes. The fun part is, is that the camera takes pictures on its own and videos, and this is done by an alarm system it's motion detected so that's kind of fun so you don't have to constantly be watching the camera it automatically videotapes or takes pictures whichever you set it up to do once it is set off the other thing i bought as well is a light that illuminates the box during the day this helps the camera just be more clear and then at night the light actually shuts off and the camera turns into night vision mode so it's not used at night at all so that's just a little rundown. I will quit talking and I will let Bart, my stepdad and builder and helper in this process, who I have to give a big shout out and thanks to. So now I'll turn it over to him to explain everything on the build and the equipment now that we have gotten it. Thanks for choosing to watch My Backyard Friends. This is everything that came in the Green, fe green Feather Bird Box camera kit. It even comes with a, uh, I guess, a European plug-in. We won't use that here in the United States. Uh, what we have here, this is the extension. It's a 20 meter extension. This is the light sensor that comes on in the daytime and uh, will illuminate the inside of the squirrel house and that actually plugs into the power supply and this is a light sensor that when the when it's outside and the sun is up it comes on and it shuts off at night and that's when the night vision takes place this is the power supply plug-in cord which again plugs into the uh, 20 meter uh, extension that we because the squirrels like to uh, put or like to chew on wires and things, we're going to put this in a stainless, well, I should say, a, it's actually a steel hose that I'll show you in a little bit that's coming out of the back of the squirrel house. And this is the camera, and this plugs into the power supply. And with these, these are mounting screws. And this is the mounting bracket that goes on to the camera itself. With what we're going to do, uh, instead of using the uh, mounting bracket, uh, we're just going to use some heavy-duty Velcro. Uh, this is the 
squirrel house. It's fairly substantial. We just had some old uh, two by four treated wood. And so I, we put it together in three parts. The roof comes off like that. This gray paper, that's just house wrap. We figured it would make it more waterproof and so on. Uh, what we plan on doing is mounting this camera with Velcro uh, right on this. I put a plexiglass piece uh, right there. And what we'll do is, I think just so we don't have exposed wires and things, and that's one of the reasons I use the plexiglass, I think it will illuminate enough through that to where we won't have to mount that. And the reason I think not mounting it will be better is because this is going to be up in the air, and if we need to service it in any way, shape, or form, I can just stick my hand through this hole <clears throat> and pull out the camera and everything right through uh, the entrance hole. <clears throat> I was mentioning earlier that uh, the wires will exit and enter the squirrel house. Uh, and I'm, I just mounted, I cut an old hose and put it, and we'll put the uh, steel or the metal hose so the squirrels can't uh, chew it. And we'll run this up. Of course, this will go inside of the metal hole, hose and that will give us access to, yeah, that will give us access to the squirrel house and it will protect the cord so squirrels won't chew on it. And that will run down the tree and to our power source uh, protected by a uh, steel, uh, it's a metal hose. And we'll show you that when we go to put it together. And again, the Velcro, we'll use some pretty heavy duty Velcro. And that will just stick right there on the glass. And then the camera will be like that. Also, the for ease of mounting in the tree, This is fairly heavy and fairly durable, but again, as you can see, it does come apart. So in mounting this, we'll show you what we're gonna do when we get to the tree, but we'll put down the foundation first, and then we'll bring the sides of the squirrel house on the top like that. And then with the camera and wires in the lid of the squirrel house, we will put that on. And then the way we'll attach the lid is I will just screw uh, the lid on through there and let's see what happens and quick before this video ended I just wanted to say thanks again for watching my backyard friends and as you can see here this is the inside I just wanted to show as well that we put plexiglass in to help cover the wires over by the hose and then I also took a picture of the setup this is actually a view from the entrance and so you can see that we're just trying to cover up the cords as much as possible and once we get it up in the tree we'll even settle it even more and hopefully just keep those protected from those squirrels so be on the lookout for 
part two of this. And I just want to thank you guys again for coming along with us on this journey.